inspiringly beautiful. How could it be wrong? But my placement exam. You've been expelled, Justin. There isn't a placement exam. Your place is with Einstein. He left me to hold my sin alone. The next day, instead of waking up early to catch Mona's class, I had to report to Einstein's office. What? Mr. Perfect playing hooky? Busted nets. It was Dido. She greeted me in her usual mocking tone. A habit established from an early age when picking on your crush was the appropriate display of affection. He's right on time for class, my dear. You, on the other hand... We're in the same class, Dad. No. I'm here now. That whole family has this fantasy that I'll one day marry in. Dido's cool. If I'm still single at 30, I'll think about it, but I just don't feel the same way for her as I do for Linda. It was the first time I'd ever been inside Einstein's office. His office was just as androgynous as he is. Not that it seems strange to have your masculine and feminine decor mix, that's common in Kosho. But from the perspective of the public, his office was neither side, woman nor man. Kind of reminds me of the classroom design. Yes, the design is very similar. You'll start with these. It made sense that the designs for our classroom and his office were the same. It's not customary for acrobats to identify as any gender before puberty. As I understand it, the public practices a different custom, giving their kids an assigned gender and gender role at birth. We believe that this kind of segregation is distracting for development and that assigning gender and gender-specific roles to children isn't useful. What we did learn as children were the basics, like presence is next to godliness, never draw a picture, never erase a living being from existence, and all the physical education required for our weekly acrobat productions. We all kept our hair cut short until fifth grade when most kids start to mimic the public by growing their curls out long. I've kept mine short, but let a trail of hair grow from my sideburns and around the hairline between my right ear. I keep it braided in a single cornrow most of the time. Why would you need a computer screen that big? You need spectacles? Get yourself some laser. It's not for my eyes. It was meant for the eyes of a crowd. Sharing? We would sometimes gather at social events to share data in person. It was a special gathering, a party. For Mona, I've heard that some religions in the public still follow the old tradition of gathering in one room with a group of friends or loved ones. They talk, listen to music, dance. Sometimes they gather to talk about something that they all have in common, or an interest in, or a hobby. We started mimicking the public by hosting our own sharing parties. We gather around one computer screen and force ourselves to talk to each other in person, mostly about music. We listen to a track and jive about what makes it good or horrible. It's fun. There's something special about it, talking face to face. Something awesome about it, in the true sense of the word. 